says, okay, we know what the United States intention is. It's to get rid of me, <laughs> regime change, and to get another Yeltsin in. That's what they want. And they will go to any ends. They will they destroy Ukraine if necessary, but they want regime change in Russia. And then after they do that, of course, they'll go after China. But that's the ultimate policy of the United States. This is a country that has no compunctions about going all the way. And it will use hypocrisy and all the news propaganda in the world to get what it wants. This is the equivalent, frankly, of Germany's uh, goals in World War II, uh, world domination. There's no question in my mind, but we're going about it in our way as opposed to Hitler's way. I'm just going to remind right here to everybody that basically everyone in the world was still trading with Russia, were kind of still all right with dealing with Putin even after annexation of Crimea eight years later. Europe hasn't done anything to cut ties with Russia, to cut ties with the dependency on oil and gas, nothing like that. The renewables uh, weren't developed, the uh, nuclear power plants weren't developed um, to, again, uh, cut down on the dependency on Russian gas in particular, if we're talking about Europe or oil just in general, if we're talking about worldwide. And yet, uh, Oliver Stone is talking as if literally everybody wanted Putin dead, basically, all these eight years, which is lies. People actually were dealing with him and with his regime, and nobody cared really about the killing again of the opposition, jailing the opposition candidates, about destruction of the democratic, however you can call democratic, whatever was going on in Russia, um, institutes and whatnot. Nobody really cared about anything. Now, now they want... Putin gone, dead, regime changed, but it's all happened after 24th of February 2022, not before that. And this is very crucial to point out because apparently Oliver Stone completely lost the plot and doesn't understand anything, like doesn't hold numbers in his mind, like doesn't hold a timeline of events in his mind. And uh, yeah, just spreads lies like this. So yeah, I think I'm going to end here. It was a very painful kind of video to to make to watch all of this garbage i'm gonna make more of this as i watch through all the interview so if you want um, more discussion about this particular topic about ukraine russia war about russia ukraine war um about what oliver stone said really terribly wrong because i've had uh, already this kind of a breakdown for maybe tomorrow or something like that uh, for the next video i mean um because yeah, I've seen another clip already that made me really furious and, and, and kind of worried and made me want to create one of those videos. Um, so yeah, please subscribe and uh, yeah, share your thoughts. Have you seen the, the original video? If not, I obviously urge you to do it yourself. And what do you think about all of this? Okay. Subscribe and uh, yeah, till the next one. Bye-bye.